So first of all, in most of cases, we change fingers unless you have a very moderate tempo and some tenuto or portato touch, something like. In this case, of course, you might play that with the same finger just in order to be sure that you have same touch for each note. But if you have anything faster, you might want to change fingers and, of course, you might follow the rhythm for that. So, for example, if you have triplets, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you might start with the third finger. If you have four notes, like normal sixteenths, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then, of course, you might start from the fourth finger. What is very important to consider here that you don't really need to work with all your fingers like that. You might actually just think about immediate finger release. So as soon as you feel that uh, the hammer beat the string, just release the finger immediately. Don't pull it up, but just release it like that. And then before starting to play with the fourth finger, for example, if we start from the fourth finger, rotate your hand, rotate your wrist just a little bit like that. And that would allow you to rotate your wrist back uh, while approaching the first finger. So. so as you see, using any kind of muscle effort is not really necessary. You might use this movement. Of course, practicing this movement, you will minimize it to the extent when it will be almost not noticeable. But still, it will be there. It will feel differently than working with each separate finger. And of course, as you might notice, approaching the thumb, I rotate my hand in, a, in an opposite way. So it's like rotating the hand to the left first, toward the thumb, and on the thumb, I rotate my hand to an another direction in order to start rotating it back. So it's always like left, right, left, right. When you reach the thumb, you actually rotate the hand quite quickly in order to return to the fourth finger. And it should feel a little bit like playing basketball when you have to um, throw the ball precisely. What is also very important is to feel the mechanics of the instrument because each piano has its own mechanic and in order to play efficiently you just have to feel what this particular instrument allows you to do and what it doesn't. So for some instruments you might need to play lighter, not reaching the bottom of the key. And for some others you have to go deeper in the key. Passages like that when you have to move from note to note. Reaching the thumb, I try to rotate the hand order to throw it to the next key. I'm not lifting the finger. That's a big difference actually between rotating your hand and lifting your finger. So, and what is very important here also is to have enough freedom in your elbow. So don't hold your elbow too close to the body. Otherwise, this motion would not be comfortable. So your elbow always follows the wrist a little bit. But the most uncomfortable spots, in my opinion, are not those ones when you have to repeat the same note many times, like it's at least three or four times, because then it works very well with uh, three fingers or four fingers. And you can loop that and play that uh, forever if you play that correctly without tension. But for example, when you have just two notes and you have to go to another position, in a faster tempo it's difficult to find a comfortable fingering for that. And what actually helps a lot is to think differently. Do things differently. How differently we feel. So you start grouping those notes, not from the first note, like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But you play the first note. And then you start a new pair of notes leading that to the new note. And then you start a new pair to the next note. So instead of repetitive notes, you think about
about these intervals, changing fingering from interval to interval. Like for example, in this case, I would use like two four for um, thirds, and then two three for seconds, and then again two four. Or for example, a very similar spot in Mozart's uh, violin sonata uh, for violin and piano in A major. It's not that difficult, and of course you might play that note also using just one finger, not changing fingers on this repetitive note, like three three, two two, one one. That's possible, of course, but playing like that, I always feel like 90% sure, you know, and I want to be 100% sure when I prepare to concert. So, so what helps me to make this part even easier is thinking also in motifs that start from the second note of the beat and not from the first one. So I play the first note, separate it, and then I start thinking from the second note, starting this position with the new fingering. So three, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So just shifting this way how you think, you know, it's so much easier to play such spots because you don't think about this repetitive note. This repetition stops to exist. You just play different motifs. And at the end, it feels so much more uh, natural and easy. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.